Hey everyone, welcome to The Rachel Cruz Show. All right, today's episode, we're gonna dive into, gosh, people may say heaven on earth, that's how I would describe it, Target. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so we're gonna break down 20 ways to save money at Target. You're welcome. All right, first up, pick your day. So here's what's interesting. Target marks down certain departments on specific days for clearance. So you need to know the schedule ahead of time to know where to get the best deals. So the Target schedule includes, uh, we'll start with Monday, ready? Electronics, accessories, kids clothing, absolutely, books, thank you, baby stuff, and stationery. So if it's Monday, be thinking about those six things because that's when they mark it down for clearance. Tuesday, domestic goods, women's clothing, I'll take that, pet stuff, food items, and then you move on to Wednesday, which is men's clothing, health and beauty, diapers, lawn and garden, and furniture. And then Thursday, houseware, lingerie, shoes, toys, sporting goods, decor, and luggage. And then we'll top it off with Friday. Are you ready? Are you ready? Auto, cosmetics, hardware, and jewelry. Isn't that fascinating? Each day, you gotta know. So if you're like, man, I really want that sweater. If you just wait, wait till the day it's marked down, and then you, then you know, it's amazing. Know that schedule. All right, number two, check for price adjustments. So if an item you bought goes on sale within 14 days of the purchase, all you have to do is bring back your receipt and Target will adjust the price for you. This is a Sharon Ramsey special. Growing up, you guys, she saved every receipt, every receipt. So this was like in the Kastner Knot days. Anyone, Kastner Knots, anyone? It's a Southern department store, anyone remember that? Oh man, she'd have those receipts. She'd have, I mean, all the receipts. And then she'd, if we saw it on sale, she's like, oh, and she has her receipt. She goes up to the cashier and they gave her cash. It was crazy. So that still happens, you guys. Uh-huh, no, some exclusions may apply, but make sure you read Target's policy before you request the price adjustment, but you guys just get cash back. It's crazy. Number three, a price match. So Target will do low price match with some online and local retailers, including Amazon. That's right. Number four, know the clearance codes. So clearance items are some of the best deals at Target and they get cheaper and cheaper as time goes on. So items can be marked down all the way to 70% off. And if you're on the hunt for clearance, they should mark them down in a red or yellow sticker. So make sure you look in the top corner uh, of the tag and you'll be able to see that color. And if the price ends in 0 0.04, like four cents, it usually means it will not get any cheaper. Number five, shop for holidays early or late. So obviously this applies to Target and beyond, but for specifically Target, here's the holiday clearance schedule. So the first day after a holiday, non-food items are marked down 50% and food and candy are marked down 30%. Four days after the holiday, it goes down even more. So non-food items are marked down 70% and food and candy are marked 50% off. On the seventh day, a week after the holiday, food and candy hits 70% off. Number six, check the dollar section. I mean, this is the tricky one, right? You're walking right into Target and you're like, whoa, what's this little aisle over here? It's like a dollar. But then they sneak in like a $5 thing sometimes, even $8, so you gotta watch it. Okay, you gotta be careful. But there is some really good stuff. There's just a lot of crap in there, but there's also some great stuff like thank you cards, gift bags, little kid toys, all of that. So make sure you watch it because you can justify a dollar very easily. It's like, oh, it's just a dollar, it's just a dollar. And you look up, you're like, I've spent $100 in the dollar section. So make sure you watch that. Number seven, stack coupons using the Target Circle app. I love this app so much. So this has great coupons and coupon codes. I remember George Camel was on when he told us about all the money hacks. Yeah, well, this is the same thing. So you can sort by discount and see what discount is best for you. Number eight, use Target's registries. Yep, so if you're engaged, getting married, maybe you're gonna have a baby soon, all the things, registries can really help you save money, especially on big ticket items. What's beautiful is the things that don't come off the registry, Target will give you 15% off each item. So you stack that 15% deal with the 5% red card, the debit card, not credit card people, together. And then if you cartwheel discounts that they have on the app, I mean, you can save so much money doing that. So thank you, registries, thank you. 
Number nine, use your own bag and Target will give you a five cent discount upon checkout. Mm -hmm. Probably won't change your life, but hey, you're saving money, right? Number 10, shop online. Okay, with this, you need to know yourself. Some of you actually save money by shopping online because you're very disciplined and you know exactly what's going on and you have this like online conviction in your spirit and when you get to check out and it's above the budget, you're like, no, 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 no. And you're able to organize and you're like, I save so much money this way because I'm so in control. Some of you are like that and that's wonderful. Others of you, not so much. You actually end up spending more when you shop online. That's kind of me, you guys. I can just, I can go crazy, I can. I'm like, oh, this is cute, this is good, this is good. And sometimes with Target, things that are online are not always in the store. So I feel the need that like, I kind of get it, right? So I do have to watch myself and know, okay, I can just browse mindlessly down here, you know, just for entertainment. And then I look up and I'm like, oh, there's so much in my cart. I need to just sleep on it, right? So again, online shopping can save you money because again, you're not just walking through the store mindlessly shopping the aisles, but you can easily spend more too. So just make sure you watch out. Number 11, use other money saving apps. So we talked about Honey, remember when George was on too? So this is a great one because it will show you in your browser any promo codes that apply to your purchase and then you can do it on target.com and look to see, okay, yeah, you can get some discounts that way. Number 12, you don't need to buy two of something in order to reap the benefits of the two for X deal. So this is awesome. So Target will label something. Okay, yeah, you get two for X amount of dollars, but sometimes you don't have to buy two of that to get the lower price. I learned this with grocery shopping too. If it's like buy one, get one free, if you just buy one, they'll actually mark it down to like 50% off and Target can be the same. So just by sticking with one item, it's gonna mark it down and you truly will save money. Number 13, shop for toys after Christmas. So Target does a semi-annual toy sale in January and July. So you can strategically think, yeah, we're gonna have tons of birthday parties we're going to for our kids. Christmas for next year coming up. Uh, we have friends that are probably have babies. Like be thinking about other stuff in life and then you can go and buy a bunch of stuff that's discounted and you have it there. So when you need a present, you just get it out of your closet. It's brilliant. Number 14, sign up for the Target red card. The debit card, yes, it's a debit card, a full-blown debit card. You get 5% back on every purchase. Isn't that amazing? I love mine. I mean, I was so paranoid when I signed up for it a few years ago. I kept saying like, this is not a credit card, right? This is not a credit card, right? This is not a credit card. Like, how does it, like, he was like, no, it literally connects to your bank account. Like, it takes money out. I was like, so like a debit card. He's like, yeah, like a debit card. I said, not a credit card. He said, it's not a credit card. I was like, okay, it can't be a credit card. It needs to be a debit card. <sighs> and it is, it's a debit card. That's what it is. And it's amazing. So you get 5% back. And here's the best part. When you're in Target shopping, you get 5% off at your Starbucks that's in there too. Who knew? It's amazing. Now again, you gotta be careful because you're thinking, oh, I'm saving money. So then you could end up spending more money. So you gotta watch that because remember, cash will always be better than any plastic, which brings me to number 15, use cash. So studies do show always, this has been like this for decades, you guys. When you spend with cash, you spend less because what it does, it triggers your brain and the pain centers of your brain light up when you spend with cash probably for multiple reasons. I mean, one, visual, you see it. Number two, like there's an exchange that happens. When you spend with cash, you have to hand something over to get something back, right? Like all this stuff happens when you use cash. So those of you that are early on in the budget process, or maybe you're in baby steps like one through three, use cash, okay? So this will always save you money at Target and other places. It's, it's amazing. Now, if you can't use cash, obviously a debit card is gonna be your next best bet. Number 16, purchase gift cards with your red card and get the gift cards 5% off. Just as an example, if you're going on a Disney vacation, you can get Disney gift cards at Target for cheaper because you get that 5% savings and then you can book your trip with that gift card. Number 17, don't forget about returning items you don't use. So you can return anything at Target up to 90 days. So do not forget that yeah, maybe you thought you were gonna wear this thing or use this thing in your kitchen and it's just sitting there, the price tag's still on it. If you're not using it, take it back, get your money back. Number 18, exchange used electronics for Target gift cards. Okay, I didn't realize this. 
But this is the thing. So check online first at Target to make sure all the supplies to you. But you can actually ship in used Fitbits, Kindles, iPhones, all of this for an exchange for a Target gift card, which is just crazy. So you may get a better deal like on eBay or Facebook Marketplace. So do some research before you before you do it. But if you look it up, your item online and you're like, yeah, you get the quote and you like it, they're gonna send you a prepaid shipping label for free. So you don't even have to haul your stuff to the store. You just put it in the mail and there it goes and then you get a Target gift card. I love it. Number 19, use discipline. Yes. Guys, listen, Target, it'll steal from you. It will take your money before you realize it. So you really do. You gotta be disciplined. You gotta know your budget. You gotta know what's going on. And if you're going in there for retail therapy because you're like, oh, I just need to get away from the kids. Like, oh, well, listen, no, don't go to Target because you're gonna end up spending so much money. So short-term happiness in that moment where you think, oh, I want some new makeup or I'm gonna buy some new clothes or whatever. Yeah, it's gonna feel good in the moment, but it's really not gonna give you long lasting peace, okay? So remember that, don't go there for retail therapy. And number 20 is advice from you guys. So the official Rachel Cruz community on Facebook, you guys post so much about how you save money at Target and so many other places. But I love it because it just shows discipline. Like we were just talking about that, okay? So for instance, Morgan was having a rough day and she just felt better by buying the sweater. And then she looked at her budget and she said, no, she put the sweater back. Good job, Morgan. Amber put more stuff back on the shelf and she kept in her cart because she was on baby step three, which is her fully funded emergency fund. Amber, I love the discipline. Jessica is watching her spending and she only spent, get this you guys, $5.11 at Target in the last two weeks. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So yes, like many of us, Target is a passion. We love Target. It's like a one-stop shop, it's wonderful. But we can all benefit from saving some money from there, right? It's very important. So listen, you guys, if you truly wanna be in control of your money at Target and everywhere else, Ramsey Plus will help you get out of debt and save faster than you think. That's because Ramsey Plus has unlimited access to our flagship course, which is Financial Peace University. So this is our step-by-step -step plan that teaches you how to save and spend wisely and pay off your debt. So start a free trial today. Just text Rachel Plus to 33789. So you guys, Target, again, heaven on earth. We love it, love it, love it. But we have to be disciplined. We have to be in control. And having all these money-saving hacks helps us Every little bit helps when you can just apply some stuff, save money over the long haul. It does amazing things to not just your bank account, but also your soul. Now listen, me and my team, those are the lists we came up with, right? 20 pretty great ones, but I wanna hear from you. Do you know other ways to save a target? Selfishly, I wanna know. So again, let me know, because it's all about saving money, you guys. This is a big part of our financial journey to be wise, with the money that we have. Because remember, we want to take control of our money and create a life you love.